off with these tofu sausage breakfast sandwiches. They are 357 calories each and 29 grams of protein. They're pretty simple to make. We're going to start off by making the sausage. Once you make the sausage, the whole thing's pretty simple. I use this sprouted chickpea flour from Thrive Market and basically all these recipes today. What we're going to need here is some textured vegetable protein which I get from Thrive Market as well. It's the Bob's Red Mill brand. We're just going to activate that with some hot water and then add in all of our wet ingredients. So what we're adding in here is some liquid smoked soy sauce and then we're also going to be adding in some spices like nutritional yeast, some salt, paprika, and a little bit of fennel and some other sausage type spices. We're just going to stir together all our wet ingredients. If you want you can add a little bit of maple syrup into this. When I make the pack and just eat them on the side. I don't put maple syrup in it because I like to dip them in maple syrup but if you want it to have more of a maple syrup flavor just add in a little bit and then we're gonna add in our oats, our chickpea flour and just combine all of that until it looks like this. So I do this in my air fryer since I live in a tiny house, I don't have an oven. I just put some parchment paper in there and then roll these into little balls and just press them into patties. Since these are oil free they're not gonna stick on the parchment paper and this recipe will make about five small sausage patties. I bake these in my air fryer for 15 minutes on 360 degrees, but I will also put oven instructions down below for you guys as well. While that is cooking, we are going to make the tofu eggs. I like to use this high protein tofu because you don't have to press it. It's super, super firm, so it doesn't have a lot of excess water in it. We're just gonna cut this into three little chunks so that they're not too thick but also not too thin and then what I did was I just took a cup so that I could make a round tofu egg patty. You just want to press it through the tofu until it separates and these are perfect for the little breakfast muffins that we're going to be using for this recipe. So to make this really bougie you do not have to do this. I do, I don't do this whole process every time but this is Kala Namak. It's black salt. It has high sulfur in it so it actually really smells like eggs and makes things taste like eggs. If you combine that with a little bit of turmeric, paprika, and some soy sauce, I just made like a little paste and basically just kind of put it on the tofu patties to give it some color and the flavor of an egg. You don't have to do that. Like I said, I don't do that all the time. Sometimes I'll just sprinkle the kalanamak on it and that's good enough. We're going to be using these Ezekiel sprouted muffins and what I like about these is that they're whole grain, they're super healthy. This whole recipe is oil free. So this one is an oil free version. I put avocado on it for me. Derek really likes to have melted cheese on his so I just used some of the chow cheese from Field Roast. Threw that on there for him. Once our breakfast patties are done they're going to look like this. They're really really good you guys. Try and make them. Even if you don't make the sandwich, make these breakfast patties. They're legit. We're just going to put those on there and then what I did is I just popped them back into my air fryer for a few minutes to make everything kind of crispy and make the cheese melt together. Next we're going to be making this high protein banana blueberry bread. It is 216 calories per slice and 13 grams of protein. So if you had two of them for breakfast you have about 400 calories and 26 grams of protein which is really great. To make this we're going to need two mashed bananas. I had frozen bananas so I just took them out of my freezer and let them sit. Some chickpea flour, some oats, baking soda and baking powder, a protein powder which I use a vanilla protein powder that's sweetened with stevia. First we're going to be mixing together our flax egg. We're just going to be taking our ground flax and combining it with water until it thickens. This makes a really great egg substitute. We can just put that to the side and then we'll mix everything else together right now. First you just want to make sure that your bananas are nice and mashed. Like I said mine were frozen so I took them out of the freezer. But if you're using ripe bananas you're going to want to use really 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 ripe bananas because the riper they are the sweeter they are. And then we're just going to start mixing together all of our dry ingredients. So I have my chickpea flour, my baking powder, my oats, and my protein powder. Add in our wet ingredients and a little bit of soy milk and then just combine all of that until it's nice and thick. This next step you can really add whatever you like into this. I like blueberry banana bread, that's my favorite, but if you really like chocolate you can add in chocolate chips, some powdered peanut butter for some extra protein and a little bit of peanut butter flavor. Really just add in whatever you like to this. You could put in some almonds or chia seeds or some nuts. 
I have these little baking trays that are non-stick and again I have to use these because I don't have an oven so I'm putting this into my air fryer but feel free to use a normal loaf pan that you would use just for any kind of banana bread. We're just going to be putting that into our loaf pan. Make sure that they are non-stick. If they aren't you might want to spray it with a tiny bit of olive oil just so it doesn't get super stuck. And then what I like to do is I like to put a little bit extra blueberries on top because when they cook they look really cool and it just kind of gives it a nice decorative look and then I also like to add some coconut flakes on top as well then we're just going to bake these for about 30 to 45 minutes you're really gonna have to watch these and do the toothpick method to make sure that it's coming out clear before you cut it make sure that you let it cool completely I just threw these in the fridge and then they release from the pan really easily but it's super good on its own I like to put some jam on it or maybe even a a little bit of vegan butter it's amazing next we're going to be making tempeh bacon wraps these have 398 calories each and 20 grams of protein lots of fiber lots of veggies super super delicious if you guys have never made tempeh bacon you got to try it i like to use this light life brand because it has minimal ingredients it doesn't have any oil or anything and what we're going to do is just slice this as thinly as we can into little kind of like bacon slices this is about how thin you want them to be In a bowl, we're going to add in some tamari, which you can substitute soy sauce or coconut aminos if you want. A little bit of liquid smoke, some maple syrup, and then some garlic powder. And just whisk all of that together. And then we're just going to be putting our little tempeh strips in here and letting it marinate for a little bit. So what I did was I cooked this in a pan. I, I wouldn't recommend this unless you have a really, really good nonstick pan. I tried this in the air fryer after and it worked actually way better so if you don't have a really good nonstick pan I would highly recommend cooking this in your oven for the wraps I like to use these Ezekiel wraps and the best thing to do with these as well is to get them a little bit warm before you try and roll them because they do tend to be a little bit on the firmer side and if you try to roll them after they were sitting in the refrigerator or just sitting out they might be too hard and break on you then we're just going to put whatever veggies we like into a pan. I have some broccoli, some peppers, mushrooms, and some onions, and just let that saute in a little bit of coconut aminos until it's nice and tender. This feta cheese, you guys, oh my god, I'm obsessed with it. If you have this feta cheese in your area, I highly recommend trying it. You can skip the cheese in this recipe. You could put avocado on here, you could put some hummus on here, or you could use any other kind of vegan cheese that you like, and then just add in whatever kind of other veggies you had. So I just had some tomatoes that I added in there, put everything together, and just wrap that up nice and tight. And these are so good. Oh my god. I made four or five of these wraps in advance and just kept them in my fridge and I would just grab them after the gym and eat them. So good. 